Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to check-in day at Port Orleans Riverside. Yay! Russ is here. <laughs> and we're in a royal guest room. We are going to have a room tour of this room available here on the channel soon, so make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss that. Now, today has been a little bit hectic. We got here early so that we could enjoy the resort, and that's basically what we've been doing. Of course, we've been lucky in the past, so we have been able to get into our room early today that wasn't the case which is all right it's not a big deal it happens we just spent the day enjoying the resort wandering around but unfortunately today it took a little bit longer for us to get into the room it actually wasn't even ready until about an hour after check-in time again it happens we'll talk more about that probably in the room review i'm going to talk more about a lot of this in the room review but here's where things kind of go sideways we make our way into the room and oh my goodness the place looks ransacked when we get in here drawers are open doors are open bulbs were out it just was honestly I feel like it drew all the attention away from the room you know like the room was so cool and I now I'm looking at it and I'm like wow this is such a cool room that should have been the thing that I focused on but all I could see was everything all disheveled but we did the room tour we did all that stuff and then we noticed that like this room was not thoroughly cleaned. There was hair, Cheerios, and even medication on the floor. So not very thrilled about that. And normally I'd be like, it is what it is. But today we actually went the route of messaging Disney to let them know about this. You can contact them via phone or in the app with the chat with us feature. So that's the route that we decided to go today. We'll see how that works. Stay tuned when it comes to what it is that they have to say about that. But it's been a little bit wild and I'm not gonna lie, it's been kind of stressful. How have you felt about this? Because I'm, I'm interested to know what you have to say. Which part? All of it. All of it? You want all of it? First of all, I love this resort. It's beautiful. We're gonna walk around a little bit later too, so yeah. don't worry. First of all, it, it's a beautiful resort. Love the lobby. It's gorgeous. Food court's great. This room though, First and foremost, I don't want to talk about the negativity because I'm very flustered about it. Yeah. However, this is Disney magic at its finest. It is. It really is. Now, one thing I noticed, though, is in old versions of the room where they still had carpet, Aladdin's carpet actually was on the floor. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have carpet no, now. No, we actually have the hard floor. Yeah. Um, so, so there was that. But um, overall, like, this is the Disney magic, you know? Like, mm -hmm. this room is exactly that. Like, this, like, puts your jaw on the floor. You know what I mean? We have the old school like LEDs and the the headboard and you stuff. You want to see like... it? I'll show. I know I'm snacking because. No, I'm a little hungry. You got the fireflies. You know? Like, Look like... at that! Because this is the same stuff from when uh, Epcot had it in the ground before. Very all... similar. Yeah, yes. very similar before the the renovation started. But yeah, I absolutely love it, and the architecture of the resort itself oh and my each God, of the individuals. Oh my God! So pretty. It's beautiful. I love this place. I really do, and I think for the cost that we paid for it, because we uh, got a deal on it, because I think it was like the thirty five percent off and stuff. Phenomenal. These kinds of rooms and this resort, and I'm and I know French Court is the same way with this. Although I don't think they have rooms like this. This is what puts the new DVC stuff and deluxe to shame. This sets the yes. bar. This is where yes. the bar was set years ago. And when we complain yeah. about DVC, yeah. like the Riviera, this is why. Because you could have this, but no, no. Anyway, there's a whole rant about that that we'll end up having some other time. But now that we've gotten caught up, oh. now that you know, oh. oh, whoa. No, 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 we have a fridge. A and, full fridge. And you know well, not means. a full fridge, an actual mini matter. fridge. It doesn't matter. You know what that means? What does it mean? Pizza. Pizza. I'm getting my pizza, pizza. tonight. Pizza. <laughs> All right. I'm getting my pizza tonight. Anyway, we're going to go grab some dinner. Of course, we're going to do a little bit of wandering around. We'll take you to go get dinner with us, and, and we'll explore a little bit of the resorts. But now you're caught up. Now you know where we're at. Oh. You know, I'm jumping. I didn't even talk about it. The food court. Quick service. Mm-hmm. Gumbo. 100% recommend. Good 100%. Stuff. Very mm -hmm. good. That's a review. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what you're going to get for dinner? Or are we just going to keep eating fistfuls of this popcorn? Well, if the people don't realize, this is the special popcorn from Edgy Kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's the uh, strawberry white chocolate marshmallow. It's a, it's like the done up popcorn. It was like 15 bucks after discounts. That's not the question. <laughs> 
The question is, do you know what you're gonna get for dinner? Okay, so I'm having trouble, right? Um, I want my pizza, oh. and I think I'm gonna get my pizza. But I also have to try the jambalaya, so I think I'm gonna get the jambalaya and a pizza. <laughs> Sounds legit, let's go. <laughs> making our way down to, actually, making our way over there. You can see it's really, really smoky out right now. I don't know what's going on, but it smells of burnt plastic and fire. Yeah. So I don't know where that's coming from, but it's everywhere. So you're gonna have to excuse me in the next couple days because I'm sure you're gonna be able to hear it in my voice. But for now, let's take a look at this beautiful resort. Oh my goodness. It is so gorgeous. And these aren't even the most gorgeous buildings. In my opinion, those are that direction, but we'll wait until we make our way back to show those off. This is such a gorgeous resort. You know, Russ has decided what he wants for dinner, but I really haven't even thought about what I want to eat. There is a cheeseburger that looks pretty good. Prime rib with a beer cheese. Yeah, so maybe that's what I'll get. I don't know, we'll see. Might get the gumbo again. Really? No, I gotta try, the try something I got, else. Well, I have to try the jambalaya, I gotta compare. Now, when we were, last time we were at Boat Rides, I think you, we had jambalaya? I have no Did idea. Did we have jambalaya? I don't think so. Because I was like, there's no way I'm paying this much money for jambalaya when literally right down the hall, is it's a lot cheaper at the food court. So I have to try the jambalaya and compare it to the gumbo. Now the lady I spoke with over lunch, she said they're both really good. Mm. So it's time to test it. By the way, gorgeous, isn't it? We're gonna go over this bridge, cross Old Man Island, and then we'll make our way to the main area, including the lobby. Let me just say, I love that Old Man Island has lore to it, and it's right there, posted so that you can read it and be part of the story and understand the story. All you gotta do is make it easy for people to consume. That's it. We definitely don't see that enough, if at all, anymore at resorts. Theming is just not what it used to be. Anyway, that is a conversation for another day. Making our way to dinner now. That's the main focus. We've made it to the food court area, which, what is the name of this place, do you know? Riverside Mill Food Court. <laughs> it's, it's right there. <laughs> so we made it to Riverside Mill Food Court. We're deciding what we want to eat now. I'm gonna show you the menu over here real quick, though there are some things that are available that aren't available on the mobile order menu. So we do have a bacon cheeseburger, regular cheeseburger, grilled chicken sandwich. That grilled chicken sandwich looks amazing, by the way. Chicken strips. Honey barbecued pork sandwich. That looks good. The pimento BLT had that earlier today. It was pretty good. I mean, it could have been better. It was cold, pretty yeah, made. It needs a little bit more love. I agree. Um, I think that that sandwich has potential, but. They got a ham and cheese. Of course, the pizzas. We know we'll be getting one of those, so we'll just. I was denied. You know, you think you have choice in this world, in this yeah. life. You don't. That's not true. You don't. I just said we should get it. You don't. We should get it tomorrow. The magic's tomorrow. Don't make your own magic. Can't do that. No. Speaking of lack of magic, we have some salads here. <laughs> and then of course we have sides <laughs> and kids' meals. I want a sweet. If I can't have my pizza, I at least want my sweet. What are you gonna have for the sweet? I don't know. I was eyeballing a Mickey dome cake wow. or, or a brownie. They had like, oh, they had like one of those like big cookies too, like in the pot. Like it's like it's like a big cookie and a, it's like a half inch, a quarter inch thick cookie. Those are good too. I think I'm gonna get chicken strips. I was thinking about the chicken sandwich, <laughs> but honestly, my vibe is off right now. We just came from the front desk. More about that here in a minute, but vibe is a little off. I want something just delicious and fun. Chicken strips with french fries. Now I think, like she said, we'll talk about it here in a minute, but I think the vibe's really off because of the smoke. That's not the helping. smoke. The smoke definitely, like, it's even making me feel wonky. Yeah, I like, feel Like, my, my throat's all raspy good. already, and all we did was walk across the, the open river. And that's where we're at, so. They also have a cheesecake. Ooh, I haven't had a cheesecake in a long time. I don't know, something sweet's happening. It ain't pizza, clearly. All right. It's time to eat. We've got jambalaya with cornbread. We also have my chicken and fries. Look at how many fries are on that plate. Of course, I've got some sauces for dipping over there. We've got some ketchup over here. It all looks pretty good. Should we try some jambalaya before Russ gets back? Oh, I got the scoop. Busted. I got the scoop. What's the scoop? The jambalaya 
is the same that's at Boat Rides. Oh. She said it, I got the scoop, I overheard it. I was talking jambalaya with the guy in front of me. <laughs> well, now you know, and I'm gonna take a bite of jambalaya and see how it tastes. Now, it's not dry at all, no, which was something that not. Russ was worried about. It is hot. Okay, hold on, I don't wanna accidentally drop any. It's gonna fall, it's falling right back into the plate. It's really good. Now, for my chicken. It's chicken. It's chicken. Exactly like I wanted. You look concerned. That almost tastes like tomato. Yeah. Like a lot of heavy tomato. Hmm. I'm gonna get back to you. I need, I need a little bit more to compare it to the gumbo. The gumbo was very good today, and I think it deserves a fair shot, and I will say, the second vat of it, you know, I call it a vat. It's just, a, you know, the pan that it's in or whatever, uh, the pot that it's in staying warm. It even looked like better. What? I don't know. I don't care. Think you're gonna get a rise out of me on the camera? Not gonna happen. <laughs> Outside of the pizza debacle. All right, let's see. That is an empty bowl. And you know what that means? I what did you everything. think? Everything. What? What did you think? You said you needed to think about it before you told us. I totally forgot. I was supposed to get back with you guys. Gumbo is better. I like the gumbo more. Now, that's not to say that the jambalaya wasn't good though. The jambalaya just had too much of a tomato taste to me. Very tomato heavy. Yeah, it was very tomato heavy. It was very good though. And I'll tell you right now, there was a lot to it. And then, um, I totally forgot to tell you guys this. It also comes with a piece of cornbread. That cornbread is also shared with boat rides. Because I'll tell you right now, it is some of the best cornbread around. It's true. But now, the new problem is not the pizza, I know. Don't worry, I'm walking out of here with the pizza tomorrow. The chef stated her favorite was the shrimp and grits. I'm not a grits person, although I do like grits. I'm gonna have to add it to the list. I like grits. I'm getting that for lunch tomorrow. He can have his pizza. I'm getting the shrimp and grits. And another thing, knowing what we know now, after eating at Boat Rights before, and then eating the jambalaya here tonight, I would recommend you skip the jambalaya at Boat Rights in particularly. Get it here if you want some. However, don't skip Boat Rights because that was a very delicious meal that we had. Uh, the boudin balls were delicious. The French onion soup was really good. There was a lot of good food that we had when we were at Boat Rights, huh? Oh yeah. And the cornbread was the same cornbread, which I, you, I think, I think it actually comes free with the table. Yeah, like I it's like that. It's like it's like a bread service. It's the bread service. So definitely do not skip Boat Rights just because you can get the jambalaya over here at the quick service. Get something else, and then come get the jambalaya to go or something. Hot tip. Making our way out, but Russ wanted to check on what ice cream options they had available and I wanted to show you what the food looks like here or the food situation so just pretty standard food court situation here and the menus have pictures and information about each item what are you seeing brownie sundae Ooh. Ah, back outside it is stinky like burning plastic here but since you're not here, you don't get to experience that. You just have to imagine it. This resort is pretty cool. They do have a lot that you can do. There's running trails, Surrey bikes, you can rent boats. You can even go fishing. Yeah, it's a good running trail too, 1.7 miles. This resort also has boat service to Disney Springs, which I think is really cool. Of course, you can also take the boat over to French Quarter and enjoy everything that they have to offer over there as well. Yeah, you could walk. In the summertime, it gets a little hot because it's oh, quite the walk. The horses are coming. We gotta find a spot to pull off for the horses. They do have carriage rides here as well. I wanted to do it, but they don't have any available slots for today. So, it's either tomorrow night or we'll have to come back some other time. We might just come back some other time. Now I want to talk to you real quick about something before we go on with the rest of our night, just because I want to put it to bed, okay? And that is the situation around our informing Disney of what was going on with the room. So when we checked in, it said that we could contact them via phone, email, or with the chat with us feature in the My Disney Experience app. So I figured we'd go with the chat with us feature and that's what I did. And so I shared my thoughts right in there. They told us that they could not help us or do anything about it because they don't have access to room information. They recommended we went to the front desk. 
that's what we did. And this is when things got really awkward. I don't really like complaining about things and that's not really what this is about. We literally just wanted to bring it to their attention. Yeah, for sure. And I don't want to come off as someone who wants things to be a very specific way, but right. I think that like when you find a pill in your room yeah. and hair and food, you kind of go, hmm, and was bulbs this cleaned? Out. Yeah, like there were, there were a few things. And again, we'll talk more in the review about this, but we wanted to report a problem. And where it got awkward was that the cast member, she was basically like, well, what do you want? And we were like, we don't want anything. Yeah, just we just want to let you know. <laughs> we're just trying to give you a heads up. Yeah. That this is happening. Everyone has a bad day. You know, but it's it, even hard to communicate it to you yeah. guys, you so, know? But anyway, for full disclosure's sake, we did end up getting a voucher for a free quick service meal and we didn't use it because we felt really awkward about it. Like I said, this whole situation was really awkward. We really just wanted to end the interaction. I want to add to this thing. So we say to that, she walked away to ask about providing us with, the, with an option. In that time, I felt even more awkward and not necessarily awkward. Awkward's not even the right word for me anyways. For me personally, it wasn't awkward. It was, it's not what I wanted. What I wanted was to port a concern and an issue, not to get something out of it. So yeah. I then went up to the desk and followed up to the desk to her and was like, we really don't want anything. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, please. And, and it, it was still it was, a little awkward. It was so still awkward. It just felt uncomfortable. The whole situation was weird mm -hmm. and you know, there's that, but we did want to share that with you just so that you know how things actually went down. And every interaction is going to be different. For sure. I think when it comes to something like this, it's no fault on the cast member. It's just the way the cast member interacted with us <laughs> with the whole situation. Because I mean, let's be honest, we brought to the table four to five different really complex issues, if you will. But clean also they weren't very complex. It was, if you're going to clean the room, clean the room. Also, Sorry, yeah. the room should be put together once you go in. Yeah. So this is like, again, this is where it gets weird because as we have these experiences, we're having the experience for ourselves, but also we're communicating them with you as room reviews. So while I understand where you're coming from, kind of standing on the side of the person doing the work, being like, yeah, I missed something. Totally get that. But on the side of the guest, I gotta stand with you guys too. And unacceptable is the word. I wanna put this to bed now. You wanna put it to bed? I wanna correct myself on one thing though. I said five complex things. When I was very frustrated in the room initially, I was frustrated because they weren't complex things to fix. Yeah. They were cleanliness and I guess basic maintenance. But anyways, we didn't use the voucher. Nope. Now you understand where, where our experience went today. That's where we are. Yeah. Now it's cold. I gotta put on some pants. Yeah. Let's go back to the room. I'm gonna put on some pants. Do you see what I see? King's chair. King Russell. <laughs> go sit upon your throne. <laughs> Take it in with me. A beautifully large Disney pizza box. <sighs> so we're back in the room now, hanging out for a little bit, kind of waiting for some of the smoke to clear and russ had a very unique challenge make coffee now why was this challenge unique russ it sounds crazy because we live in a world of like plug plug here plug there plug everywhere it was clearly an issue back then and it still is today there was nowhere to plug in the coffee maker yeah so the coffee maker actually sits on the like the bureau but there's nowhere to plug it in no so this is where the coffee maker was yeah. and down here well this is just here for the time being down here we have like aux cables and then there's a there's a plug down here right. but it's too far away for the coffee maker to be plugged in there so you put the coffee maker on the table but that's too far away from the plug for the coffee maker. So we ended up having to put the coffee maker on the nightstand <laughs> and that did the job. But of course we had to move the Mickey. Hey oh, Disney. Yeah. It was, was an adventure. Literally all they have to do. And again, this is what I'm talking about when you're updating a room. Don't get rid of these rooms. No. Just put a surge protector in and that's it. And I do like your idea of the organizer for the bathroom, redoing that. Yeah, so watch the room tour here tomorrow and you'll see 
the bathroom in detail, but something needs to be done about this. The thing is, don't get rid of the rooms. No. Jeez. Don't get rid of them. They're don't so great. Them. This is going to be another conversation. We have so much to talk about. I feel like this stay is going to be the beginning of so many discussions that we're going to have. So, buckle up. Anyway. You really, you really gotta get this popcorn. I know it's a little pricey, but being a popcorn person... Doesn't that look good? Want a bite? It's delicious. I'll take the bite for you. So many textures, so many flavors. I honestly can't believe that there's no plugs. I mean, we've always used plug-in devices. We always have. You think that we use steam-powered devices based on how this room is laid out? <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's very awkward. You know, I know this check-in day has been kind of dominated by conversations about plugs but it is kind of crazy that there's not enough plugs here but i honestly think it's something worth talking about i mean we have magic band plus we have our smart devices and extra battery packs and everything like that but that's one of the reasons we recommend sometimes going the route of bringing some sort of charging brick or i say extension cord from time to time russ is giving me a hard time about that but what i mean is a few extra feet of cord you can also buy like surge protectors that come with a few extra feet of cord so something for you to plug in and then give you a little bit more distance from the wall you know it's gonna be really important in a room like this which is just it's crazy that we have to say that in 2024, but these are the things that are worth talking about, I guess. Okay, we've suited up. We've already stepped outside. Doesn't smell like plastic or smoke anymore. Nope. So we should be good to go wander around. Oh, looks like there's fireworks happening. Well, I, I said it looks like there's fireworks happening. What I mean is it sounds like fireworks. Really can't see anything from here. Can you see anything if we move over this way? Hmm? Can you see anything from Kind of in the mil uh, middle. This court has way over road. Yeah, definitely can't see much. So we're wandering around the resort now. I want to give you a look, you get an idea of what this resort looks like. It is so gorgeous, especially after dark. Isn't that just so pretty? Ambiance. Don't look at me, I'm not pretty. This resort gives me the same type of vibe, after dark at least, as Coronado Springs. Now the music isn't quite there. We don't get that music being pumped through, but it feels kind of romantic and nice place to wander. What do you think? Well, actually, first and foremost, uh, the music is actually playing from Old Man Island, which you can definitely clearly hear. You yes. might not be able to hear it, but we can hear it clear as day. It's actually nice and subtle. It's almost like someone has like a... a... Just off in the distance, sounds like someone's playing music on their porch. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. nice. But now we're coming up on the part of the resort that I stayed in goodness knows how long ago. And that's the Alligator Bayou. I like this stretch. Yeah? This is actually, um, I don't know, they're all great in, on the, in and of themselves. They're all unique. They're all unique, but I really like this space. Want to like cut into it real quick? Yeah, let's do it. Take a look through the alligator bayou section. Also, this resort definitely has these little luggage carts throughout, which makes it so easy to get your luggage where it needs to be. Some resorts just don't have that. Saratoga Springs is one of them. It can be difficult to get your luggage up to your room. Although, to be fair, that might not be the case now, but when we stay there, no luggage carts. So, now this section of the resort is pretty cool because you know it is the bayou and there's little swampy areas all throughout. I don't know how well you'd be able to see them, but it's all swampy over here. Let's go over by the light, Let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about. See, I don't know, I just feel like it's so cool. Maybe it's a little bit better during the daytime. No, I like it. It adds a little bit of like a vibe to it. I like walking around at night, so hope you don't mind our little nighttime adventure. Oh, I think they're they're quite all right with it. Is it just me, or does this walkway feel really spooky? How about this bridge? It kind of feels spooky too. 
you didn't know any better, you kind of think that we were exploring some state park after dark or something. Hmm. We're creeping on toward the end of the alligator bayou section now, making our way back toward the lobby and the quick service and the shop and everything. Russ was just saying it's crazy how small this place is because it seems so much bigger, at least and, on the map. Yeah, and it is, and it is big. I just feel like we get over here so fast. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think we also hustle pretty good. Yeah. So, I mean, they get around fast too. Now, I don't remember a ton from the last time I stayed here, but I remember walking on this bridge, seeing that water wheel. Isn't that so cool? It's so beautiful at night, isn't it? I love it. I mean, it's beautiful during the day, too, but... I like the shadow it casts. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is actually turning on the inside as well. So this wheel turns the things on the inside and it turns all the elements in there too. You might even be able to see them turning kind of from here. But I, I don't know, I just think it's the coolest thing. I also remember spending some time using this pass that they used to have here at the resorts. I forget the specifics of it, but it was like a flat rate for the duration of your stay, and you had unlimited rentals of things like bicycles and pontoons, and these little like water mices, water mice, they were tiny boats, personal boats. We caused a lot of problems on those boats. Hence the reason why it's gone now. I probably single-handedly the reason they're gone. <laughs> of course, it's probably worth noting that I was young at the time. Was an adult making questionable decisions. And we're back. We actually did a second loop. There goes the boat to Disney Springs. Tonight's not the night, but you know, we'll have to do that one of these days. Take an evening ride on the dark, dark boat. I feel like this has turned into creepy moments at <laughs> no. Riverside with Cat and Russ. I'll tell you what, it's been a wild day. A lot has happened today. The vibe has shifted and then balanced out, which is good. Shifted back, always good. But I think it's about time to call it a night. Hope you guys enjoyed wandering around the resort with us today. I know it was after dark, but why not? I love wandering around after dark. It's one of my favorite things to do. Disney's a great place to do it. That's how we spent our day today. I'd love to hear how you spent yours. Pop it in the comment down below. Also, let us know what you think of this resort. Have you ever stayed here? Tell us about it. If you haven't, let us know what you think just based on our wandering around today. Now, if you didn't stay here, but if you stayed at French Quarter, how do you think it compares? Do you think it's about the same? Do you think it's better, worse? Yeah, let us know. You know, I'd like to know your thoughts. But yeah. It's getting a little chilly, so we're gonna make our way inside. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Yeah. Of course, if you enjoyed this, thumbs up, subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. We're looking forward to you hanging out with us. And until then, bye. Bye, guys.